I'm not fighting for the hell of it. Fight for what you love. That's one thing my godmother taught me every single day she was on this planet. Don't care about what anybody thinks about you. You fight for your family, period. Bitch, get your mother arm off my husband. Oh, you didn't know he, you didn't know he was married. All I know is nobody's getting out this mother room. That's what I do know. Let me tell you something. I wanted every bit of those little thoughts that we women get in our head to be so wrong more than anything in the world. I advise all of my friends in relationships, dating, married, I say go for those feelings. Be wrong, then not know. Get out there and get your ass in that car and follow whatever is in your mind. Because what you don't want to do is not be able to sleep at night because your ass don't know. My handsome, amazing husband lets me know all the time, B, you tripping. I'm not doing nothing. You don't have nothing to worry about. But I, I really caught myself going through some sudden flashbacks. So through those flashbacks, I had to follow my intuition. One thing I want to teach my ladies out there, you have to think things thoroughly. And I planned this one all the way through. Got my behind inside that studio with my ace, walked through, planned on being just humiliated out of my mind. And I opened up the door. I got tired of ear hustling, listening to the music. I'm like, I can't hear as I'm sitting here waiting, the impulse is just getting bigger and bigger. I'm like, I don't got time for this. I bust open the door knowing, damn it, Brandy, why are you humiliating yourself like this? But oh no. What do I find? Thirsty ass, ratchet ass, not Becky number one, but Becky number one, two, three, and it might have even been a four. Lined up as if they on some damn audition not standing next to Ray, not by the vocal booth because there are artists getting on the hook, but lined up next to my husband, my property. They say you have a firearm and somebody breaking your You have a legal right to protect yourself. I'm looking at every bit of these women like I have the right to protect myself. And Becky number one, what the hell is your dusty ass hand doing on my husband's left shoulder? Get off of my property before we have a problem. The point is, I'm not crazy, but I am and I damn sure have no problem saying I am crazy about my husband.